Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shlomi and beside me is the gorgeous Miriam. And today we went for a smoky, glittery green uh, eyeshadow color. I know that sometimes people are really afraid to go with green, especially for brown eyes. Green makes your eyes pop. Green is just gorgeous color, so don't uh, be afraid to use it. And today we also went for a very polished, sleek hair look and nude, shiny lip. If you would like to know how we've done the look, please stay with us. I will start with Garnier Moisturizing and Nourishing for dry skin. Next, I'm going to use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original, and I'm going to place it all over your eyelid to give a good base to the eyeshadow I'm going to use on top. Next, for a moisture on the lips, I'm going to use Lucas Popo Ointment. For primer, I'm going to use NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. It's anti-redness. It's really great for winter, especially when your uh, skin has a bit of redness in it. Uh, the green color takes away the red redness on the face. Um, skin also looks very smooth. The foundation on top of it uh, will look very fresh. Today I'm using NYX Full Throttle in Explicit for your eyes, brown eyes. The combination is really beautiful. So we will start first with a brighter color with a fluffy 217 brush and I'm gonna first highlight the inner corner of your eye and I'm also going to do it under the eyebrow to give more light under the eyebrow. I will continue with a medium uh, browny color, a bit uh, warm brown color and I'm going to place it softly over your crease from the end of your eye towards the beginning of your eye and blending it softly up. Next I'm going to take the green color and I'm going to place it all over the eyelid like so. So really close to the lashes, I'm lifting the eyebrow and just placing, tapping on top of your eyelid. Next, I'm going to use a darker brown in the palette, end of the eye in a C shape. I'm putting it close to the lashes and on top of the end of your crease there I'm placing the darker brown color you see it a C shape to give the eye a lift and then I'm blending the colors together softly on top of your crease from the end of the eye towards the beginning of your eye and uh, towards the beginning of your eyebrow all over here Next I'm going to use Urban Decay uh, Moon Dust and today I'm going to go for the light tear the green 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 glitter color and then just pressing on top of the green color we put before all over the eye until the uh, crease placing it over here sometimes the brush is not really picking all the glitter so it's really easy just to use your finger softly and place it on top of your eyelid and blend together the glitter with a brown color. 
color we put before. From the same palette I'm gonna use the uh, Spectre. This is the name of the color, it's a bit pinkish uh, color and I'm gonna mix it and place it in the inner corner of the eye to give them a bit more glow and glitter and light. I'm gonna clean what fell under the eye and while cleaning I like to also shape nice a sharp line from the end towards up just like that. Next I'm gonna use a black pencil Black Noir NYX SPE 901 Very good tip if your model or yourself want to cry suddenly, just lift your head up and sniff and hopefully you will not cry. <laughs> yes, it works. It works. Mm -hmm. With a black eyeshadow and a flat brush, I'm gonna go over the eyelashes and give a smoky feel to the eye. Next, I'm gonna use Giorgio Armani a Illuminous Silk in number 4 It's a medium cover and the finish of this foundation is very dewy, very glowy, very beautiful I love using it Next, for concealer, I'm gonna use NYX HD Concealer in number one and four. I like to mix those two colors together. Number one is a bit more pinkish tone, and number four, it's uh, more yellowy. And I think the combination of those two together gives a perfect color. And with my fluffy brush, I'm placing it under the eye. Middle of the nose. Forehead. Just to highlight a bit with the concealer. Upper lip. And chin. And sides of the nose a bit. Next for powder, I'm using NYX HD Finishing Powder in a Banana. I'm just gonna press it over there to set the foundation under the eye. And then with a fluffier, bigger brush, I'm gonna go all over the face. For under eye, I'm taking the dark brown color from the beginning of the eye till the end of the eye under lashes. And a bit of the warm color on top with the same black pencil I'm gonna trace the inner of the eye and then under corner eye we're gonna go again with the specter for lashes I'm gonna use the house of lashes in a siren I'm gonna glue it with the duo in black Small break of a cookie, mm. and we are back. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. Mm. Next, I'm gonna use NYX Doll Eye Mascara. It's a volume uh, mascara, and I'm gonna blend both 
lashes together. For contouring, I'm gonna use NYX Love Contours All with a dark brown color. Middle of the ear, down towards your mouth. Blending it together. Warming up the face on the temples. I'm blending the foundation with the hairline. Next for blush, I'm gonna use NYX Baked Blush and Illuminator uh, in the color Sugar Mama. So this baked blush is really uh, nice and shimmery. It's a peach orangey color that I think will go really beautifully with the green uh, that we put on your eyelid and it's really warming up the face a bit, giving healthy look. For highlight, I'm gonna use the goldy color from the Love Contours All, and I'm gonna use the MAC 188 brush, and I'm gonna place it under the eye, upper lip, chin, and forehead. And with a smaller brush in the middle of the nose. For eyebrows, I'm gonna use again NYX Love Contours All and I'm gonna use the darker color. I think your eyebrows are beautiful and we call it wild and thick eyebrows. What I would do is just in the beginning of the eyebrow, the beginning just give a nice line to mark it a bit under and then throw the powder up uh, to give a bit warmth to your eyebrows and take the rest of the powder not adding more and just brush it on top of your uh, eyebrows hairs and gonna keep it nice and wild not very defined uh, eyebrow. Next for lips I'm gonna use NYX Turned Up and the color called Flawless of course. It's a beautiful lipstick color. It's a glossy a beige with a hint of pink, quite cold uh, tone. Last I'm gonna use Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. For hair today, we're gonna go for a slick and polish uh, hair look and I'm gonna use a uh, smooth and seal. Sexy hair, smooth and seal. It gives really nice shine, protection to the hair. It's really easy to go over with a... Straightener. Straightener! <laughs> so I part the hair in a, a middle part and then we're gonna go section by section uh, horizontally and straighten the hair. Next, I'm using Red Can Forceful in number 23. Please like and subscribe and please leave a comment down below. Any look you would like me to do for you, I'll do. You're so nice. Yes, thank you.